Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Welcome back to Pro Tips from a Lender. And of course, we got the lovely Miss Jen Bailey from Legacy Mutual Lending. What juicy nugget of lending do you have for us today? Thanks so much for having me on again, Jason. I am going to cover the three things you should be asking your lender, no matter who your lender is. If it's a big bank or a small residential lender like us, these are three things you really should be asking. So first... And one of my favorites is, are you getting a true pre-approval letter? A lot of lenders, most, even some that do what I do, which is a small residential local lender, will issue a pre-qualification. It's very different than a pre-approval. All a pre-qualification is, it's your loan application, whatever you put in there, we're just going to trust it, and your credit report that we pull. That's it. No documentation. So in reality... It's not a good thing to use to put an offer in on a house because you can jeopardize your earnest money, option fee, cost of inspection. If your offer is accepted on a home and then you upload the documents and send it to the lender and they review it and they say, Eep, you don't actually qualify for that prequal I sent you. That happens all the time. So I will do with my clients, I will only do a prequalification if they're in a huge rush and they're like, I have to have this house. I got to get an offer in today. I don't have time to send you docs. Then I just say, okay. Here's how it works. I'll send it to you, but I want you to know the risks. And if they're okay with the risks, fabulous, we'll do it. But it's best if you can get with a lender early before you're trying to get an offer in on a home, do a full pre-approval. I promise it's worth it. Let us see your documents. Let us make sure you're qualified. And even more importantly, having that pre-approval meeting. I do a Zoom pre-approval meeting with every single one of my clients and I go through their goals because you might qualify for a $500,000 house, but you want your mortgage payment to be a $300,000 house. Mm -hmm. So you don't wanna be out house shopping for homes that are above your comfort zone. So have that pre-approval done, have that pre-approval meeting with the lender to make sure you know the numbers for your down payment, your monthly payment, and your out of pocket for homes at different price ranges, because that'll help you protect your money and it'll help Jason make sure that he is searching for homes that are in the price range that fit your goals. Yeah, that's always first step. Anytime you're starting the process, um, the first thing you always need to do is reach out to a lender that you trust, Jen Bailey, and find out what your buying power is. Uh, that will get you, like I said, those that first initial pre-qualified and then she'll set up that meeting to, to get the whole pre-approval. Most depends on your price bracket. Once you go to the higher price bracket, they're not going to let you see the house unless you've submitted a uh, pre-qual letter. So yeah, don't. Uh, first step one is always find out what your buying power is. Talk to a lender that you know, like, and trust. Agreed. Agreed. And number two. Second thing you must ask your lender, or I highly recommend is, are you going to do a consultation with me? Because a lot of lenders, especially those big banks at credit unions, they'll just spit out a pre-qualification letter, but they never talk to you. They don't talk to you about anything. So that kind of goes with number one, what I was talking about, but just make sure you ask, are you going to do a consultation with me? Because you want to make sure the lender is going to advise you on the best short-term and long-term solution to help you hit your goals. And if your lender does not have that as part of their process, you might want to find a lender that does. I highly recommend it. That consultation is so important. I do three consultations with my clients. The initial call, which is the, the initial just getting to know them and their goals. The second, which is the pre-approval meeting, which is 30 minutes over Zoom. And the third is a 30-minute Zoom meeting once they're under contract. I think that's so important and crucial to the process to make sure they have their eyes wide open, know the financials, feel comfortable about it, and aren't stressed with their hair on fire trying to buy a house, not knowing what's going on. So that's really important. Ask your lender, do you have a consultation process? Yeah. So that's some wonderful advice. And I'm glad you do that for your clients. And uh, that's why, obviously, you can see that's why uh, Miss Jen Bailey is my preferred lender. Uh, I've got a lot of options out there. I know a lot of lenders that do amazing work. But I know, like, and trust Miss Jen Bailey. So that's why I have her on these podcasts, because I, I think you would like her and trust her as well. All right. Uh, what's your phone number if they need to get a hold of you? Do you want me to say the third thing, though? Oh, there's a third thing. Yes, please give the me third. a third thing. <laughs> Only one last one. It's quick. So ask your lender, do they shop banks for you on interest rates? So that's something that we do. It's a very unique thing. We are set up as a wholesale lender, which means we get to do everything in-house for you from the beginning to the end of closing, underwriting, everything. But 
unlike a broker, because a broker can't have anything in-house. They can shop banks, but then they have to go send it out. So they don't have control over how the process goes. We call ourselves the perfect solution because we do both in-house. So we do everything from beginning to end to closing to getting the keys to your home in-house, but we're set up to be able to shop a large group of banks and investors on interest rate for our clients. So they only have to do one application, one credit pool. They don't even have to apply with other lenders because we shop the banks for them. So I would ask whoever you apply with, if you apply with a big bank or a credit union, chances are they only have their one rate, right? They they don't shop others and we shop others. So that's a really good benefit to buyers. So they don't have to go out there and try to apply with multiple lenders, have multiple credit pools, get confused on which documents they're sending to who. You know, if you get with one lender that shops a large group of banks, then you'll be in good hands. That was and, it. Number three. And one other thing is you want a lender that can solve a problem because there is no such thing as a 100% smooth transaction. <laughs> but having a local lender that controls the whole process if when that problem comes up you need someone there that's ability to make the call to fix a problem come up with solutions versus well, like uh, there's some big assembly big lenders out there i call them assembly line lenders where if sally's out for the day it ain't happening because yeah. it's going to sit on our desk for a day or two waiting and yeah. when you're Days away from closing, you don't have t time to wait for Sally to come back from her vacation to open up your file. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. Well, this was going to be a short one. I know we're under a little bit of a time constraint because both me and Jen have a little bit busy days today, but we wanted to get this information out to you guys. Uh, best way to get a hold of you, Jen, how, how do they do that? My direct cell, 512-507-0063. You can call or text. I recommend text. I will respond faster. Reach me anytime. And definitely, if you want to reach out to me, 210-254-4425. Like Jen, text the best way to get a hold of me. And my contact information will be on the final slide. All right. You got anything else for us today, Jen? That's all. Thank all you, right. Well, appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like it, hit that like button for us. Once you subscribe to my channel. But if you know anybody considering buying uh, a house, lots, anything, or getting the custom home built in the greater San Antonio area to include New Braunfels, Shirt Cibolo, Bernie, Bolverde, feel free to reach out to either myself or Jennifer. Uh, both of us can be happy to help and, uh, yeah, share these videos with those folks. All right. Take care for now. All right. Bye. Bye.